Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. I am Jackie, and if this is your first time on my channel, I welcome you. I hope you find something that you like, something that's worth subscribing, or you find some com something you want to comment about and leave it in the comments. If you are a returning viewer, you are the real MVP, and I welcome you. I appreciate you, and I say it every time, only because you came back. You didn't have to come back, and you did. So, someone wanted me to talk about letters of recommendations from instructors and I figured why not talk about letters of recommendations that you're going to just need in general because I think some of the same rules apply no matter where you're getting a letter of recommendation from so first to start with your instructors the reason why you need letters of recommendations from your instructors is because they want someone to say that you are able to handle the type of work that PA school is going to pro to give you. So are you going to be prepared academically to handle this type of work? Are you um, a student that will be able to do it? And how do you do that? How do you not like blend in and just fall under radar? Ask questions. Um, you want to be interested. It is going to be hard to have um, a professor provide a letter of recommendation that has any substance if they don't know you and they can't tell you from Jane from Bob from they can't they don't know who you are so um, while they may be able to provide a generic letter you want something that is of quality in a way to get something of quality is to let it be known what your intentions are um, I think it's good to develop a relationship with your um, instructors and you want to say I am going to be applying for PA school and plant the seed that you need a letter of recommendation but I think you need to do that on top of actively participating in class um, putting forth a good effort not just blending in in the background so you're not going to be able to have the best relationships probably with all of your instructors but you want to pick out those science instructors your science classes and I who who do you vibe with who was likely to get you a letter and make it known that hey I'm going to be seeking this and I think I got a letter from my anatomy and physiology teacher we developed a good rapport I had him for actually more than one course and he was able to write something that was helpful and something of substance because he knew about my life and he knew that I wanted to be a PA and he knew that I bust my butt and I'm a, I'm a participating person I'm going to ask questions so be that person if you're not a person who likes asking questions you may have to pull out that I'm gonna ask questions and even if you know the answer just let somebody know that you're there because I can't write a letter of recommendation for somebody that I can't tell you anything about except for like oh, what's in the grade book. Um, and you typically will need a letter of recommendation from a physician assistant as well. So these are typically the physician assistants that you've shadowed. And if you've shadowed, you've been developing some type of relationship talking about your goals and you've been showing interest while shadowing. You have been professional in the communication so I think with everyone up front you need to say what your intent is what you're looking for and then also be willing and open to learn be accommodating be professional and be memorable because I think the things that get you the letter of recommendation are also the things that make you stand out when you are actually doing your PA interview be memorable um, because everybody in PA school who's applying, they're all smart. Like, we're all book smart. <laughs> like, what makes you stand out? Um, and I think it does not hurt to get letters of recommendations from people that you've worked with. Um, a lot of people who are getting the health care experience or patient care experience, they're working with other PAs, nurse practitioners, physicians, um, and or their managers is good to get a letter of recommendation from them as well you basically want to position yourself up to because you know this is your goal your goal is to become a PA you want to 
get through um, the application process, and interview process, but you need the letters of recommendation. And if you know up front, like you are in your chemistry class, your biology class right now, you need to establish a relationship so that you can get a letter of recommendation. If you have any other questions or want me to elaborate further, feel free to leave your comments down below. If you have other recommendations and suggestions on how to get a letter of recommendation, um, leave it below as well. Thank you.